So guys, UMW Toyota has officially taken the wraps of the new Toyota Corolla. Well, it has always been a very safe car, one of those cars that you can always depend on. However, this time, the real star of the show is the car behind me, the Corolla GR Sports. Now, there are three variants currently on offer for the Corolla lineup in Malaysia. And if you notice, it is no longer called the Corolla Altis. It's back to its original name, simply Toyota Corolla. So there's three uh, variants. There's the 1.8e, which is priced for 139,800 ringgit. And there's the 1.8g, which is priced for 147,800 ringgit. And there is the car behind me, the red one, the star of the show today. The GR Corolla Sports, priced for 152,800 ringgit. Let's check it out. So this is the non-GR version. It runs on 17-inch wheels, which in my opinion, kind of look really good. And then you get a lot of chrome stuff at the front over here. Where else? On the GR Corolla, well actually Corolla GR Sports, you get 18-inch wheels wrapped in Dunlop tires. You get this more aggressive front bumper, which doesn't have that silver lining that you see on the standard car. In fact, you get a bigger lower grille and the front the top end of the grille has been actually repositioned to accommodate this gaping mouth so yes that is one of the key differences over here the side mirrors are now in gloss black that's from the side besides that though from the side they are identical from the back though if you come over here the Corolla GR Sports actually has a bottom diffuser over here and a restyled bumper. Where else on the standard Corolla, well, it's more elegant looking, I would say, but this is more aggressive, sportier, in fact. But one of the key differences, in fact, the main difference between the two cars is actually what lays underneath because this has been supposedly tuned by GR, the suspension is different. It has different stabilizer bars, it has different uh, coilovers, and it even has different shock absorbers. So this is actually designed to give you better control over the car, even a sportier feel. So the standard Corolla still runs on the same suspension, better designed for comfort, better suited for comfort actually. The GR is actually, would probably appeal to the youth in you if you want something that handles a little bit more nimbler. Let's check out the inside. I've always liked the Toyota Corolla. It has always offered a very comfortable driving experience. It never tried to be too many things at the same time. And the interior, well, it was just, just that. And right now, as I'm seated in here, I smell and I feel quality. It's a very nice place to be in. It's just a very safe place to be in. The seats are nice and comfortable. Um, Toyota has always ensured that comfort and quality is always the name of the game for any of its cars. In here, it definitely feels like that. So you get, you get electronic seats, you get a uh, entertainment, touchscreen entertainment system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And basically, it's same old, same old. In fact, it's obviously redesigned. You do get a digital meter panel though. But besides that, the steering wheel looks somewhat familiar. Perhaps that's because I've probably seen it um, on the Vios or on the Corolla Cross, something like that. Anyway, um, in terms of quality, check out the stitching. It feels, it, there's no hollow point around the car so in that sense yeah it's a fast free very comfortable very it's a very nice place to be in and let's go check out the gr uh, the <laughs> the corolla gr sports on the inside both the interiors are almost identical almost inside here in the gr model you get lots of gr emblems you get a gr emblem over here on the start button you get a gr uh, emblem embossed into the headrest and you get GR emblem down here on the floor mat but besides that though you also get cool red stitching because what else 
screams motorsports than red stitching which is what this car Toyota says this shares um, its sportiness with um, talking about sports as I mentioned earlier the, the key difference between the, the standard model and this model is of course the suspension other than that though the interior between the two models is just about the same so that's it guys the Toyota Corolla is back and now it even has a sportier sibling in the Corolla GR Sport if you want something that's typically Corolla that is the car for you designed for safety comfort and such where else if you want to just sort of reconnect with your youth and enjoy your driving experience this is the car that you want and for 152,800 ringgit doesn't sound too shabby for me thank you for watching do consider subscribing